welcome back and today we're building a cobblestone generator which can also be used as a stone generator if you use the silk touch enchant on your pick it's a fairly simple build and good if you quickly need to farm some cobble the only issue is that it's very boring to use this farm but if you wanted to afk and get some cobble just press the mouse button down and watch a video or something you could get an absolute ton of cobble from this farm let's get into the items we'll need for this cobble generator. The items we will be using today are a few water buckets, one lava bucket, some obsidian, just one block, doesn't have to be crying, a sign, also can be any type of sign. We need 12 hoppers for this one. And then we need some solid blocks, you can make it out of bricks or any other solid block. I'm just using brick and some mossy brick, and then we'll need some stairs. They just have to be made out of a non-burnable block. So any stone block should be good for this. And then we need 12 chests, or you could actually do it with just a double chest if you didn't want as much storage. Getting into the build for this one, I have a copy of this just over there which is what we'll be building today. So build three step blocks up. And then after this step block, put a temporary block, one, two, three, and four. These are just temporary. And then at the end of this, add a double chest. Now destroy these temporary blocks, two, three, four again. And we'll replace these with a line of hoppers going into the chest along there to the chest now under this we will place a double chest and we'll actually face it the other way as we want the last chest to be kind of sticking out there so the middle chest will just offset by one facing the other direction so we'll just go shift click and then shift click so that you've got a stack of chests like this and then we'll add a hopper here into this chest and a hopper into this chest. So then all of your cobble will go through the hoppers and into the bottom chest eventually, unless they fill up. Just test out that the hoppers and chests are working correctly by throwing an item into the first one. Now we just need to place a line of solid blocks around the edge up to the end of the hopper. And then do one extra one in front of that top chest and then we do the same on the other side all the way down to the end and fill in the end one as well and now we get our stairs and we place that facing into the hoppers there which we will waterlog in a minute after we've done this level and then we want to stare on this chest in case we need to open it later and then we just fill the rest with solid block. Solid blocks all the way around. And we can cover these in solid, except for that middle one there. This is what it should look like at this stage. Now we need to place a sign on the side here. This is where we're going to mine the cobble later on. You don't have to type anything on your sign if you don't like. Now we grab a bucket of water and we need to waterlog these stairs. So just waterlog each of the stairs. We'll provide a water source to create the cobble. And we will hit it through there like that. Now we just want to place another line of solid blocks all the way around the top. All the way around. These just need to be non-burnable blocks. And over the top there. Now we just get a lava bucket. And we can place that right at the end. We only need one and place it just here and it will actually flow across all these four blocks and you can see it creating the smooth stone as it goes across. Now you can use this farm with a 
silk touch pick and then you'll get stone and if you use it with a regular pick you will get cobblestone so now you just sit at the end and mine away and you will get the cobblestone going into your hoppers and chests down the bottom and that is the farm complete there used to be a trick where you could press F3 and T to automatically mine, but I tested this and I couldn't get this working, so... This is a bit of a modified version of this cobble farm, so if it's based on another one, let me know and I'll add some credit into the description. Hopefully you found this build useful and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.